वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियोरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन थेविनेंस थियरम वेर देर आर टू केसेस विच आई बी गोइंग टू कंसिडर वन एग्जाम्पल इज देर बेस्ड ऑन इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्स एंड सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल इज देर बेस्ड ऑन डिपेंडेंट सोर्स एंड एट लास्ट आई गिव यू one practice question you just write down your answer in comment box for that practice question right so let us have first question here so if you see we are having a question in which thevenin's equivalent of figure 1 is given by 10 voltage and 2 ohm so this is figure 1 with that figure thevenin's equivalent is given that is of 10 voltage and 2 ohm if a resistance of 3 ohm is connected across ab terminals as shown in figure 2 then what are the thevenin's equivalent of that circuit so in figure 2 you see with this network we are connecting 3 ohm in parallel and then we are dealing with to identify equivalent thevenin's of this circuit and options are given right so let us try to understand first what is given here so it is given that thevenin's equivalent of figure 1 that is of 10 voltage and 2 ohm so when you draw thevenin's equivalent circuit you should know that thevenin's equivalent circuit shows series connection of thevenin's equivalent resistance with thevenin's equivalent voltage right so that is what thevenin's equivalent circuit and here 10 voltage that is given and 2 ohm that is given to us so this is a case which is given to us with figure 1 now see we are connecting 3 ohm resistor in between ab terminal so this is terminal a and this is terminal b with figure 2 3 ohm that is what we are connecting over here so let me draw figure 2 so in figure 2 you see we are connecting 3 ohm resistor right over here and now we are dealing with to identify equivalent thevenin's resistance of figure 2 right so when you want to have equivalent thevenin's resistance then all you need to do is you need to see whether this case is there with dependent or independent source this is what independent source then for independent source we just need to provide short circuit with voltage source and open circuit with current source so now what we will do is for rth calculation which is happening over here i'll provide short circuit with voltage source which is happening over here so let me short circuit this voltage source as you can see now i have shorted this and we'll be having rth over here right and what is this rth rth is parallel combination of 2 ohm and 3 ohm that you can easily see so that is 2 into 3 divided by 2 plus 3 so that is 6 divided by 5 means 1.2 ohm right so now we got the value of rth now we are dealing with to identify vth so what is vth my dear students vth is open circuited voltage measured at output right let me mention that and then i'll show you how to calculate it So now what I'll do is I'll again take this figure and I'll measure VTH in between A B terminal. So VTH that is a voltage which we measure it from here with this is plus terminal and this is minus terminal. Now you see VTH at this node simply we can calculate by voltage divider rule. So what is VTH? VTH is total voltage 10 voltage. into voltage across 3 ohm resistor is to be measured so here 3 divided by total resistance that is 2 plus 3 so 2 plus 3 that is how we can have vth so that is 10 into 3 by 5 so that will be 6 voltage right so now we got the value of rth that is 1.2 ohm and vth that is 6 voltage so our option that is this 6 voltage and 1.2 ohm which is there with figure 2 right so this is how simply we can identify calculation for independent source 
now i'll give you one very tricky equation which is there with dependent source where we will identify thevenin's equivalent right so let us see the question 2 of this video so here in the circuit shown below thevenin's resistance that we are deal with to calculate so here if you see this circuit in that we are deal with to find thevenin's equivalent over here and you see here current i0 is given and voltage source that is of 3 i0 means this is dependent voltage source right so as this is dependent voltage source when you want to calculate value of rth then there are few basic steps that you need to follow see for the calculation of equivalent thevenin's resistance for the case of dependent source all you need to do is you need to provide battery at output side and whatever current that is been generated by that battery that will result into thevenin's equivalent that will be rth is equals to v by i and whatever independent sources are there for that voltage sources should be replaced by short circuit and current sources that should be replaced by open circuit this is the basic thing that you will have to follow right let me mention that first so what we will be doing is you see here at output side i'll be connecting battery of voltage v let us say it is generating current i so our agenda is to identify rth that is v by i this is what we'll be doing at this terminal right and in this circuit you see this 10 voltage battery that is independent so this voltage source that should be short circuited so it will short this one ohm resistor e1 and then i need to redraw this circuit let me redraw it first so now you see what i have done is i have short circuited this as per voltage source which is independent source and now our agenda is to identify v by i that is rth right now to solve this v by i here you see this v that is appearing over here which is plus minus like this right and this voltage source of value 3i0 that is appearing over here plus minus 3i0 right so you will be observing that first basic equation of voltage over here that will be v is equals to i0 into r right and r is 1 ohm over here so one equation that i am having is v is equals to i0 into 1 that is i0 right let us say this is my one equation which is happening because of this right now to identify the value of i0 in terms of i first i'll be considering loops so let us say i'm having one loop over here let us say this is loop i and i'm having second loop over here let us say that is having current i1 right so what i'll be doing is now i'll be going to apply kvl in this loops right so let us apply first kvl in loop i so if you apply kvl in loop i only one voltage source is there and that is happening from minus to plus so i am writing plus v over here and that is equals to now you see one ohm resistor is there and through this one ohm resistor current is i minus i1 through this one ohm resistor so i can say 1 into i minus i1 so that is resulting into v is equals to i minus i1 right let us say this is my equation 2 now see what we will be doing is we will be applying kvl in loop i1 so let us apply kvl in loop i1 so if you apply kvl in loop i1 then you see we have one ohm resistor through which current is i1 only so i1 and across this voltage is v and that is happening from minus to plus so i need to write minus v why i am writing minus v the reason is see it is not voltage source across this one ohm that is a voltage appearing across one ohm so i am writing minus as minus to plus is happening now you see across one ohm plus minus 3i0 voltage is there so plus minus means plus 
थ्री आई जीरो दैट आई नीड टू राइट वोल्टेज सोर्स दैट वी नीड टू कंसिडर ऑन अदर साइड वेन यू अप्लाई के वी एल राइट सो दिस इक्वेशन विल गिवज यू वी इज इक्वल्स टू इफ यू टेक दिस वी ऑन अदर साइड आई वन प्लस थ्री आई जीरो राइट नाउ इफ यू सी दिस इक्वेशन केयरफुली राइट देन वॉट वी वॉन्ट इज वी वॉन्टेड टू हैव आई जीरो इन टर्म्स ऑफ आई राइट एंड हियर इफ यू ऑब्जर्व सी वी हैव आई माइनस आई वन एंड हियर आई वन प्लस थ्री आई जीरो सो वन थिंग दैट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन सब्सटीट्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ आई वन बाई कंपेरिंग वोल्टेज ऑफ इक्वेशन टू एंड इक्वेशन थ्री राइट एंड वॉट एवर आई वन दैट वी हैव दैट वी कैन सब्सटीट्यूट इन टर्म्स ऑफ आई जीरो बाई कंपेरिंग इट विथ फर्स्ट इक्वेशन राइट सो ओनली वन थिंग दैट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड इज वी शुड हैव आई इन टर्म्स ऑफ आई जीरो राइट सो लेट एस कंपेयर इक्वेशन टू एंड थ्री फर्स्ट सो आई कैन से आई माइनस आई वन दैट इज इक्वल्स टू आई वन प्लस थ्री आई जीरो राइट सो You see, this I one will go on other side. So two I one that I'll be having, and this three I zero that will be coming on other side. So I minus three I zero that will be the case. So I'll be having I one that is I minus three I zero divided by two. So now I got the value of I one in terms of I and I zero, right? Now what I can do is I can compare. One and two, right? And in that, what I'll do is I'll substitute value of i one, right? So if you compare one and two, then i zero is equals to i minus i one. Now we got the value of i one, so let us substitute that over here. So i zero is equals to i minus i minus three i zero divided by two. so you will be having a relation of i and i0 only right so let us take two lcm so 2i0 is equals to 2i minus i minus minus plus 3i0 so this 3i0 that will go on other side so that will be minus i0 and 2i minus i so that will be i right So now I got the relation in between i zero and i, so i zero is equals to minus i that I can say right. So this is my equation a. Now you see i zero is equals to minus i. So based on equation one, what we can have? We can have that v is equals to i zero and that is equals to minus i. So I can say that. v by i that is equals to minus 1 ohm and that is what rth right so see this type of questions are based on equation solving only you will have to practice all those things right it is not like there is a trick by which you can have faster answer or something like that you should know how to solve equations right so when you do practice definitely you will get answers very quickly one more query is there initially when i have solved this problem at that time i got minus ohm resistor one ohm resistor right so what i thought was like this is a false answer as resistance cannot be negative but remember my dear students equivalent resistance can be negative equivalent means voltage source current source something is there in circuit so that may give you negative resistance right so initially i thought this is wrong but practically what i have found is this is correct calculation now let me give you one more question which is there in practice and you write your answer in comment box so here i am giving you this question in which we are dealing with to find current i and this current i that we can find by many ways like by kvl kcl something like that but what i want is you should find thevenin's equivalent of this much network and by that you calculate rth and vth and then easily one can be able to calculate current i i'm just saying you like you just calculate vth rth the reason is 
you should do some practice based on VTH, RTH calculation, right? Otherwise, this could be calculated by many ways. So you write down your answer in comment box. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.